Right, guys. I'm going to be playing. I'm going to be playing. Um, right. I'm going to be playing. Trying to think of it. You know what? I just want to update PUBG. I'm not playing PUBG. I just want to update it. There's just a few things I want to update. So I'm not playing PUBG. Uh, I can't play PUBG at the moment because the app that I've got that works with the DualSense controller, works with the PS5 gamepad, uh, requires me to enable a few items uh, on my uh, phone, like I said, that I don't know how to enable. So at the moment, uh, until I learn how to enable those things, there's nothing I can do. I cannot um, use the DualSense controller in that re regard. Playing from Geotrans. Uh, it says uh, select a resource pack to download. Um, so I'm trying to look at this low. Okay, I think it shows high. I don't know why it's doing that because it, it already knows what, what I do on the game. So I don't know why it's, it's asking me to, uh, like to choose between low and high. But I think it's gone for the high resource uh, pack. It's just asking me which resource pack it wants uh, me to download on my phone. I have all these games on my iPhone as well. I've got uh, PUBG Mobile. I've got Call of Duty Mobile. Like, you know, when I've got my backbone, I do play Call of Duty Mobile on the iPhone. I don't normally play it on the Samsung. Like I said, I do have an app, but the app doesn't... Well, okay, look, the app works, but I don't know how to use the app. Until I, I figure out how to use the app, then I won't be able to use the DualSense controller. What that, what that app allows uh, me to do on my Samsung is that I should be able to use the DualSense controller as a gamepad. It won't be recognized as DualSense, just as a normal gamepad. And then I should be able to play games um, with the DualSense controller directly on the Samsung. So I'll be able to play games like PUBG Mobile with the DualSense controller and it will work, you understand? So at the moment, like I said, I there's some options in um, in uh, developer mode. Um, I, I'll show you actually. Let, let this PUBG thing do what it needs to do. It's downloading some resource thing. Like I said, I like to come into these games just to make sure they're up to date. And uh, if there's anything rewards that I need to collect, that I collect those rewards because on PUBG I do pay a monthly fee. Uh, it's like a subscription that I've got on PUBG. So I mean, if I don't come into PUBG. I'm actually losing out, you know? So <coughs> what I'm saying is I, I I just come into these games to update them, make sure that everything on them is functioning as they should be functioning. And if there's anything like updating that needs to be done, then I update the games. Apart from that, I am not yet uh, able to play PUBG with the DualSense controller. I will show you guys the app that I purchased on the Play Store that allows the DualSense controller to be recognized as a normal gamepad, right? And then it, it kind of allows you to use the DualSense controller in games such as PUBG Mobile. And then what, what will happen is that you should be able now to then use your DualSense controller. It says the update is finished. Please restart the game for new content. Right, it's going to restart, I think. <coughs> so basically... Like I keep saying, um, like I keep saying, the, the game itself works on the Samsung, yes, PUBG. Um, the, the Call of Duty Mobile also works. I can, I can just play games tapping the screen. I don't know, it wants me to log in or something. I thought it should, it should remember me.